G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Sean and today we're going to discover whether or not it's possible for you to be able to edit 4K video from something as simple and as little as a USB drive. So if you're new here to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and let's begin. Okay, so where does this video start or where does it come from where was the inspiration behind this video so for me i film a lot of the video on my sony a7s2 camera in 4k and then i edit it from either my imac or my girlfriend does or from my pc which both of us have really really powerful desktops to be able to do that from now there's been times where i've needed to get videos out for YouTube, for example, and I don't have my powerful computer obviously with me. It's a big desktop, I can't just take it. Now, as far as what other technology I have available to me, I have an iPad and you've probably seen my video on how to edit video from an iPad, but I also have, um, or we share a MacBook Pro with, I guess, okay specs. It's a dual core CPU with four, two, two cores and four threads. 256 gig storage with 8 gigabytes of RAM and it's plenty quick for doing most things for browsing for photo editing for video editing but the challenge is is if I edit all my projects from the SSD drive how do I then I guess upload them or migrate them back to my PC so I can then continue working off um, the same project or um, consider you know I, I guess I want to try and make everything as fluid as possible. So that's where I started looking at what options I had as far as external storage. And from what I've been seeing is that flash storage prices have just been sort of on a continual uh, decline. So I picked up a 32 gigabyte Kingston USB drive for about $20 the other day. It was about $21 for 32 gig. And it's a USB 3 drive. Um, I'll leave the link to the exact model um, down below, but I believe this drive can do read and writes of around about 60 to 70 megabytes per second. And that got me thinking, would it be enough for me to put all the video files onto that USB drive and then go ahead and actually load them into Premiere on the laptop, do all my edits, and then copy those same video files back to my PC at a later date, which means I can essentially work from either my laptop or my desktop. So I've set up my MacBook Pro here. Um, I've got the mouse set up as well, just to make, you know, if you travel with a the mouse, then you can use it. If not, use the trackpad. I've got it also mirrored to the TV behind me, so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Uh, and we've got to find out whether or not 4K video editing is possible. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do, if you wanna follow along, is I've got my USB drive plugged in, uh, which is called Setup Files. And I've already gone ahead and copied some 4K video files to it. So I've got it in this video folder here. Um, this is just some footage from one of the last videos I did, which was uh, which computer stores are the best ones in Sydney. And I've also got here, I'll move that to the side, I've got Premiere already loaded as well. So I've gone ahead and actually created a folder for my project files. So I've created that all on the USB. This is all done from the USB drive. So the 4K folder has my 4K video projects folder, which is the one I've got currently open with nothing in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that video folder. We're gonna grab a few clips here. So clip five and clip six. Now, like I said, these are 4K video files, 100 megabit um, as far as the, I guess, the content or the, the data that's inside of these video files. So I record in 4K, 24 frames a second, 100 megabit. I'm gonna drag and drop these into the media library. And I'm also gonna drag just a standard MOV file from some screen capture. That's also in 4K. So I'll drag that in as well. And now we can see we've got here the media library loaded with a few clips. And we're just gonna grab a clip here and just drag it into the timeline. We're gonna leave the resolution set to full. I guess depending on your computer, you could drop this down to half or even quarter or eight or one eighth if your computer is maybe an older computer with not a powerful graphics chip. Um, this MacBook Pro, not that old, so we'll just leave it at full resolution. And we're just gonna go ahead and click play and see what happens and see if we can actually play back 4K video. I might make it full screen just so you can sort of see whether or not we're dropping frames. 
but so far on the TV, even with me mirroring from the MacBook Pro to the TV, running everything from the USB drive, it's perfectly smooth. I can't see any stuttering or any jitter. So playback, not a problem. So let's try and do something a little bit more, I guess, intense. We're just gonna press stop and we're just gonna use our mouse or the cursor. We're just gonna move that little, um, I guess that little line along our timeline and just see if it, you know, is stuttering or, or jittering. And obviously depending on how quick you do this, you know, you might find that it might lose a frame here and there. But from what I'm seeing, even just doing it quite, I wouldn't say slowly, like we're still going at a fair pace here. The USB drive is able to keep up, no problem at all. So now what we might do is we might actually just go ahead and cut a few of these clips up. I'm not gonna, you know, edit a whole video obviously, but I just wanna see whether or not it can actually keep up with the actions, considering that everything that we're doing right now is going from a USB drive. So I'll drag a few clips around, might grab another clip here from maybe the screen capture, drag that in. Maybe we can go ahead and cut that and sort of that way we've got some transitions happening. From what I can see, everything's looking pretty good. I mean, there is a little bit of lag and that's more to do with the fact that I'm mirroring to the TV, um, nothing to do with the actual USB drive. So going from, I guess, a clip of myself, does take a few seconds, not really a few seconds, maybe half a second for it to sort of uh, preload the thumbnail and I guess buffer a little bit. But once it's started, um, it does edit perfectly fine. I've got the activity monitor down here as well, just so you can see in the corner how much of a load it's putting on the processor. And it isn't really maxing out on all four. It's sort of peaking and dropping here and there. But for the most part, it's it's staying around half if I hit play so you can see the activity monitor jump up and down. It's looking all pretty pretty happy. Um, computer's definitely getting a bit warmer. It's working quite hard to sort of keep up. But 4K video editing is definitely a, a possibility. And like I said, even me scrubbing back and forward on the timeline, not an issue at all. So I think if you're in the position of, like I am of editing video, or needing to edit video from a USB drive. I think if you're looking for a 32 gig or a 64 gig USB drive and you can pick it up for like under $50, then it's a real, it's a real possible option. Now, while this is playing, I just want to quickly maybe go through, um, in case you're wondering what model computer that I'm currently editing from. So I'll just open up the system specs. This is a uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro running Mac OS Mojave. Uh, 10.4, it's a 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i5 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, and the storage, the built-in storage is 256 gig um, and the USB drive is a 32 gig USB 3 drive. All of this is running through the USB Type-C port to a, a Unitech, um, I guess, USB and Ethernet adapter. And the USB drive is a Kingston Data Traveler 100 G3. That's the model, but like I said, I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Uh, the mouse, it's just a standard $20 or something Logitech wireless mouse, just picked it up from Officeworks. Um, so that's the complete setup um, for editing this video. And like I said as well, I'm actually mirroring what you're seeing on my screen to my uh, Panasonic TV behind me as well with Apple TV. So if you have any questions, about this video, leave them in the comments down below. You can always reach out to me and hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.